Hello, thank you for visiting Sweet Bliss Yoga. My name is Claire. Today's class is a yin yoga class to help cultivate joy. For this class, you might want to have some props nearby. I have a bolster and I have a couple of yoga blocks. So whatever you have around the house that might help support you while you're practicing this class with me, go ahead and get them. You can hit pause and come back. And we're actually going to start on the floor in a wide-legged fold. It's a dragonfly fold. Um, you might also want to have a journal nearby to write down any feelings that might come up or to write down how you're feeling after the class. So if you have a bolster or a big fat pillow or a couple of pillows, you can use that for this class. And just taking your legs as wide as you're comfortable we're just going to fold forward on top of our prop. You can also use um, other props underneath if that feels comfortable to help hold you up. So play around with it. And we'll stay here for a couple of minutes here. Using your hands as support, slowly walking your way up out of this pose. You can set your prop aside. And pulling the legs in, you can place your feet flat on the floor and just do a windshield wiper motion just to release your legs a little bit. And coming onto hands and knees, we'll make our way into a dragon pose momentarily, but let's take a couple of little cats and cows. Inhaling, dropping your belly, looking up. Exhale, chin to your chest, spine up towards the ceiling. One more cow inhale. and into your cat, exhale. Now stepping that right foot through in between your hands 
And for this pose, you might want to have some blocks nearby to help support. So the dragon pose is a low lunge and you can use your back foot to walk your knee back. Try to keep your hips square. And for today, I'm resting my torso on top of the right um, thigh. So I'm taking my blocks to help support me here. And this is a very deep stretch in the hip flexor. So try to find the edge of your stretch. You don't want it to hurt uh, or pull too much. You want to find where it, so you start to feel that stretch and then ease into it right there. And just breathing into it. And keep your neck neutral. And if you do suffer from chronic pain, um, you know, I suffer from fibromyalgia. This is one of the areas where I tend to kind of always have a little, some pain and it's a, a little bit of a burning pain lately. So you have to adjust based on how you feel in your body. I am feeling it right now during the stretch, but it kind it feels kind of like a good hurt. Um, and I know that after the stretch, it will actually help me feel better. So just listening to your body and tuning in. And as we're going through these stretches, think about any phrases or affirmations that might help bring you joy or cultivate joy in your life. Some affirmations that you could use are, I choose joy, or I feel positive, I am happy, I am light. So anything that resonates with you, you can repeat that to yourself during this practice. So we'll take the right leg back to meet the left and we'll just take a child's pose to kind of help release that intense stretch. So just sinking your hips back to your heels, reaching your arms forward. You can either keep your knees close together or widen them. See what feels good today.
And coming up out of your child's pose, taking the left foot in between the hands. Walking that right knee back, grabbing onto some blocks if you need them. And settling into the left side of your dragon pose. And you can repeat whatever affirmation that you've chosen for this practice. And releasing this sign. Coming back into a child's pose. We'll do a shorter one this time. Sinking your hips back, reaching your arms forward. Just giving yourself a moment after that intense stretch. If your hip flexor, a lot of emotions can come up when you do these deep stretches, so just notice them. If you'd like to journal, write them down or make a mental note so that you can write about them later or maybe meditate on it. And coming up out of this, you'll want to have some blocks or bolster available for this next pose um, if you're going to be reclining. So we're doing a combination pose of a half saddle along with a supported fish. You're going to take your left foot, so your, your right thigh will be parallel to the left thigh here. And then your left foot, you're going to bring alongside the left thigh and tuck your foot under. You may use a block or a pillow to keep you lifted up. If this is really intense, if it hurts your knees at all, you wanna to try to adjust. And if you can't find a comfortable spot where it doesn't hurt, you'll wanna skip this portion of the stretch. So however you feel comfortable, if you wanna stay sitting up and just allow the thigh to open up, your quad to open up, you can stay there. Or you can place your bolster behind you or set up your blocks. I'd like to set mine up in a T-shape. Placing the first block underneath the thoracic spine under your rib cage behind you and then using the second block to support the head some people like to take the block on a lower level in this position but that hurts my neck sometimes so I'm going to leave it like this so take a minute to figure out where you're comfortable 
what feels good for you today. And once you find that sweet spot, we'll stay there and we'll breathe into it. This is a really great heart opening pose, which can help cultivate joy. So once again, repeat your affirmation to yourself if you have one. Try to find some joy in your day. And slowly making your way up. I like to use my forearms to help lift up out of this pose and then walking my hands to help lift the top of the body up. And releasing that left leg, you can wiggle it back and forth. Maybe bounce your knee up and down to help release. That stretch is pretty intense. You can roll your ankle. And when you're ready, make your way to the other side. Tucking that right foot next to that right hip along the thigh, keeping your thighs parallel. And again, don't be afraid of using any props that you need underneath your bottom, anything that feels good behind the back and use as many props as you need to. We don't want injury during these practices. We're trying to make ourselves feel good, feel better. Not bad. So easing your upper body back onto your props. Some people can take this pose all the way flat onto the floor. I can't do that. But if that feels good, go for it. So arms out to your side or wherever it feels good. You can. You can bring them up overhead if that feels good for you. I'm keeping mine out to the side today. And breathing deeply into this pose. And finding joy in your day.
and slowly making your way up out of this side <clears throat> wiggling that right leg back and forth shaking the knee rolling the ankle whatever feels good to you and we'll set those props aside making our way into our last set of poses for this class. So coming down onto your back, you can press your feet into the mat to shift your hips to the right side of the mat. We're going into banana pose. And you can use your hands to shift your torso towards the left. Feet will be towards the left side of the mat and just adjust your body to where your, your hips are flat on the mat. So you can keep your feet next to each other or you can cross your right ankle over the left. You can keep your hands down by your side or to intensify the stretch, you can grab onto your elbows and just wiggle around and see where you start to feel that nice stretch along the whole right side of your body. And once you find your spot, just stay there and breathe into it. And don't forget to think about your phrase, your affirmation for cultivating joy. And gently releasing this side, pressing your feet into the mat when you're ready, shifting your hips over to the left and bringing your feet and torso over towards the right side of the mat. <laughs> Remember to keep your hips flat and you're finding a stretch along the left side. Again, you can cross your ankle over, your left anchor, ankle over the right. And if it feels good, you can clasp your elbows above your head. Finding joy. I feel joyful. I am happy. I am light. I feel positive today.
What's your affirmation? If you'd like to leave it in the comments below, I would love to know. And gently finding your way out of this side of your banana pose. You can use your feet to press dig into the mat to help adjust your hips to center them on the mat. Finding your way into a Shavasana. Letting your feet fall out comfortably and your arms along your side, palms up. Your eyes can be opened or closed wherever you feel safe in this pose. Taking a few moments to let it all sink in. If you're ready to come out of your Shavasana, you can wiggle your fingers and toes. 
Maybe circle your wrists and ankles. And if you're ready to come on to one side and make your way back up to a seat. If you want to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like, please feel free to do so. For the purposes of this class, I will thank you for practicing with me. I hope this class has helped you bring some joy into your day. And I hope you come back and practice with me again soon. I will have a list of other yoga classes, including yin yoga classes, down in the, in the description. I hope you try some of my other classes. And if you have, I thank you. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it and subs subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I hope to practice with you again soon. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.